Okay, this video is part of a series that we're continuing. Be sure to check out the full video. There's a link in the description to the playlist. I recommend watching those new video every Wednesday. Um, and before we continue, I want to go over some, not necessarily corrections, but just uh, go a little more specific into some things I said in previous videos. So I'm gonna Vim into my uh, VimRC file. Uh, and here in the last video, we added these commands. And I couldn't remember if the, I was like, I put these colons here and it didn't seem right to me, but it worked. They don't need to be there. Uh, it does work with them there, but they don't need to be there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those for our mapping for control N and control P to move through our buffer files. Another thing I wanna bring up is uh, I kept on using the find command, which I, I tend to use, but to open up a file. So let's say I do find uh, linux.js, I can do that. Uh, but really the command to open up a file is colon E. Uh, and if I type in Linux though, L-I-N, and I hit tab, it doesn't do that, that search complete into the subdirectories. I have to JS forward slash and that. So that's why I normally use the find command uh, over the E. Uh, although I'm sure I can make the E command work like this as well. In, in the end, it does the same thing. It's just the find command does better at searching, at least with my setup. Uh, so yeah. E will open up files, find will open up files, but also help you find them a little bit better. Um, let's go ahead and add something in here just so there's something in this file. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we'll save that since we have it open. Now we will continue with our tutorials. Let's go ahead and just reopen up. So we only have one file open, our index file here. We're gonna be looking into splitting the screen today. And a simple way to do that is just colon split and the file you want to split. So I'll say, uh, I don't think it will, yeah, it doesn't do the, the searching like find does. So I'm gonna do JS, it does do auto completion. So uh, colon split and the name of your file. In my case, it's inside a folder called JS. It will file, call the file linux.js, we'll hit enter and it splits the screen. Uh, and we can do that again so I can run the same command, but I can open up the test.js file. So there you go, it's splitting the screen. So let's say we want to split it vertically though. So far we're splitting it horizontally. Let's say we want to split it vertically. Uh, it's very similar. Instead split and the file name, it is vsplit. So colon vsplit and the file name. And you also notice that these top two uh, windows here I have are the same file. And what's fun about this is if I start editing in one window, you see it right away in the other window. Uh, so yeah, so that's splitting, uh, and you can continuous, you can continue splitting. It's going to split whatever window you're currently in. You can see my cursor up here in the top left. Now, obviously, I, I can't click to move my cursor uh, in this shell program, so we're going to use arrows or sorry, keyboard uh, commands, which is faster anyway. And uh, when you have split windows, what you can do is you can hit Control W W. So Control and just double tap W, and that will go to whatever the next window is, and it will continue doing that. Now you can also do Control W up arrow to go up, Control W down arrow to go down, and uh, Control W right arrow to move right, Control W left arrow to move left, and again Control W W and you can just hold down control and keep tapping W to go through each window. And uh, there are other options. We can resize these windows. We can make some full screen. We can close them, uh, all that sort of stuff. I'm not gonna get into that in this video. I just wanted to go over the basics. But if you want, real quick, we will review again. So let me just go ahead and start closing out these windows. And now I have one window open again. I can v-split to vertically split, but if I was to just say split, it will horizontally split. And again, you can see what window I'm in with the flashing cursor up here in the top left, and I can hit Control W, W. So I'm just holding down Control and double tapping W to go through these. And again, to close one of these windows, uh, I can close out the file with the Q command, just like I was going to be closing Vim. It doesn't close all of them, it closes the window in. Now, you can also, you know, I don't want to get into too much, 
but you can also open up buffers and go through them. So for example, I have the screen split here. I can do my find command main JS. And now here I can hit control P and I can go through all our files that are open in our buffer. Um, and if I was coming over here, I can go through them here. So you can easily switch uh, if you wanted to move. So here I'm looking at my index file on both. If I wanted to put main.js on the right and uh, whatever one else I have open. Let's see which ones I have open. Um, I can do uh, linux.js on the right and main.js on the left. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm on the right. I can just, with our previous commands that we've put into our vimrc file, I can hit control N until I get to my main JS, so that's over there. Now I can hit Control WW. Uh, now I'm over here. I can hit Control N, and now the Linux one's over there. And again, I can uh, split the window again. And right now I'm using uh, commands. We'll get into keyboard shortcuts for this hopefully in a future video. Uh, but let's say I want my index file here on the bottom. Now, or put it on the top. So if I wanted to switch them, there might be a command to switch them. But I'm just going to go through my buffers again if I want. Uh, Linux.js on the top, I'll just hit Control N until I get to it, Control WW, and then I'll go Control N until I get my HTML file back here. Uh, I hope you got all that. Uh, so again, split is the function to split the screen. If you want it vertically split, it's vSplit and the file name. And uh, actually, if you just do split, uh, it will split the file. You don't have to give it a file name. It apparently just splits whatever file you have open. So uh, let me control WW over here and I will split this screen. So yeah, it will split it. If you just do split, uh, if you don't want to open up a new file because it might already be in your buffer, you can go ahead and just split it with the split command. And if you want to split it vertically, V split without giving it a file name, we'll split the file that you're currently in like that. So split, V split, control W, control W arrow, control W either up or down arrow. I hope that wasn't too much. Try to keep these short. Uh, that's about it. Well, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. <coughs> Excuse me. As always, I hope that you have a great